Thank you for purchasing a Janome machine. This is a two-in-one sewing and embroidery machine incorporating many unique features to fulfill dedicated sewists, patchwork quilters, and machine embroidery enthusiasts every need. This machine provides such distinctive features as a long arm body with a wide detachable extension table, 9 millimeter width stitches, an automatic thread cutter, easy set bobbin, a large foot control, a worldwide auto voltage power system, and much more. This machine comes with useful accessories, including more than 10 unique presser feet. We're sure you'll be glad you chose a Janome machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Preparation Connecting the power supply this machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop button to operate the machine. The large foot control is more stable and easier to use than the smaller foot control. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you use the foot control, First open the base cover on the bottom of the foot control and unwind the cord. Replace the base cover. Insert the pin connector into the jack. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plug into the machine and power outlet. After using the foot control, store the cord under the base cover of the foot control. Machine Operating Buttons The five machine operating buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start-Stop Button Press the Start-Stop button to start or to stop the machine. Please note, however, that the Start-Stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button again while the machine is running will slow down the machine and it will stop when the button is released. This function is extremely useful when precise control of stitching is necessary. Reverse Button The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed when straight stitches and zigzag stitches are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the Auto Lock button when straight stitches and zigzag stitches have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle Up-Down Button Press the Needle Up-Down button to bring the needle to the up or down position. 
Thread Cutter Button. Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick threads or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the faceplate. Speed Control Slider The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Turn the power switch on. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin like this and secure it with a spool holder. If you need to wind a bobbin while sewing, use the extra spool pin so you don't need to unthread the machine to wind the bobbin. Insert the extra spool pin into the hole beside the horizontal spool pin. Place a spool of thread on it and hold the spool with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it into the guide slot. Draw the thread around and to the back of the thread guide. Firmly pull the thread to the right with your hands. Hold the thread with both hands and wind it around the bobbin clockwise several times. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. The LCD indicates that the machine is in bobbin winding mode. Start the machine. When the bobbin is fully wound, it will stop spinning automatically. Stop the machine and return the bobbin winder to the left. Remove the bobbin. Cut the thread with the thread cutter. Inserting the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. The bobbin with your fingertip so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide paths marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. The thread will be cut to a proper length and held in place. Set the left edge of the hook cover into the opening. Push the hook cover down to fit in place. Threading the machine. Turn the power switch on. Raise the needle by pressing the up-down needle button. Turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot. Hold the thread with your hands and pass the thread into the guide slot. Still holding the thread with your hands, draw the thread firmly around the corner and towards you along the channel. Pull it down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Slide the thread behind the needle bar thread guide from the left. Needle Threader
Lower the presser foot. Push the threader knob down slowly as far as it will go. The hook comes out through the needle eye and the threader is held in the down position. Pull the thread down around the left thread guide and then pass it from left to right under the hook. Draw the thread around the right thread guide toward you. Raise the knob slowly and a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread completely through the needle eye. Now you can start sewing. However, you need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing, gathering stitches, etc. For drawing up the bobbin thread, see the instruction manual. Raising and lowering the presser foot. The presser foot lifter raises and lowers the presser foot. You can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you change the needle plate and place thick fabrics under the foot. The machine will not start if the presser foot is up, and the LCD screen will show a message to lower the foot. The knee lifter is useful when sewing patchwork, quilting, etc., since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. See the instruction manual for more information. Replacing the foot holder. When using the embroidery foot or darning foot, you need to replace the foot holder. Turn the power switch off. Raise the foot. Loosen the thumb screw with a screwdriver and remove the foot holder. Attach the foot to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the thumb screw firmly with a screwdriver to secure the foot. Adjusting foot pressure. Depending on the sewing conditions, the foot pressure should be adjusted. The dial has seven setting positions from one to seven, so you can fine tune foot pressure. Set the dial at the recommended setting indicated on the LCD screen. To reduce the pressure, set the dial at a lower number. Set the dial at a higher number to increase the pressure. Dropping the feed dog. The feed dog can be lowered with the drop feed lever located on the right side of the machine. Shift the lever towards you to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever away from you to raise the feed dog and it will return to the up position when you start the machine. Ordinary Sewing Replacing the Presser Foot More than 10 different presser feet are included as standard accessories with this machine. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button and turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder. The presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Selecting Patterns This machine offers a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms. The flip-up reference chart helps you identify all the patterns at a glance. The patterns are listed in groups for easy reference. When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show the straight stitch 1 has been selected. To find the desired pattern, select the category by pressing the Category Selection key. Select the group by pressing the Group Selection key. Browse the stitch patterns with the Page key until the desired pattern appears. Press the Pattern key.
Manual Stitch Adjustment. This machine is programmed to optimal stitch length and width as well as thread tension for the selected pattern. However, you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. Press the adjusting key. You can adjust the zigzag width, stitch length, elongation ratio, and thread tension by pressing the plus or minus keys. After adjusting the settings, press the OK key to register your settings and return to the previous screen. Press the default key and the OK key to return the settings to the default values. Replacing the needle plate. Use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitch. Press the lockout key. Slide the extension table to the left to remove it. Raise the presser foot. Push down the needle plate release lever and the needle plate will pop up. A warning message will appear to remind you that the needle plate is not secured. Raise the presser foot lifter to the extra lifted position and hold it in place and remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. Raise the presser foot lifter to the extra lifted position and hold it in place and set the left edge of the needle plate into the opening. Push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. The confirmation message appears. Press the X key. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Buttonholes There are various styles of buttonholes available. You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a properly sized buttonhole automatically in a single step. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. Buttonhole length is determined automatically. You can also fine-tune the buttonhole size by turning the adjusting screw. Attach the buttonhole foot. Draw the needle thread to the left through the hole of the foot. Place the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle and lower the presser foot. Pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start sewing while pulling the needle thread lightly to the left. After several stitches, free the needle thread and continue sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Sewing Applications Sewing applications are unique features that provide you with 12 useful sewing applications. Select Free Motion Quilting, for example. Press the Quilting key, then the Free Quilting key. Drop the Feed Dog and the warning message will disappear. The machine will automatically set up for the selected project. Programming a Pattern Combination The patterns in the Decorative Stitch category and monograms can be programmed to make a pattern combination. Press the Category Selection key and press the Satin Stitch key. Press the Program key so you can program the pattern combination. 
Select Pattern 6 and Pattern 3. The patterns are automatically programmed. Press the Mirror Image key and select Pattern 6. A mirror image of the pattern is programmed. Select the Auto Lock stitch to program it. The machine will sew the pattern combination, lock off the stitches at the end, and then stop automatically. Press the Thread Cutter button and the machine will trim the threads. Embroidery Setting up for embroidery Turn the power switch off. Remove the cover. Set the embroidery unit onto the back side of the machine. Slide the embroidery unit along the machine body to the right and push it firmly until it fits securely. Be sure to use the embroidery foot and the straight stitch needle plate. Set the foot pressure dial at 3 for embroidery. Turn the power switch on and press the mode switch key. Press down the carriage arm release lever. Swing out the carriage arm until it locks in the fully extended position. A warning message will appear. Press the OK key and the carriage will move to the starting position. Select the appropriate hoop for the pattern you wish to embroider and set your fabric in the hoop. Attach the hoop to the carriage, inserting the lock pin of the hoop into the hole in the carriage. Turn the knob clockwise to secure the hoop. Selecting Patterns from Built-in Designs Press the Design key and the Pattern Selection window will open. You can browse the pattern list by design category or by hoop size. Press the Category key. Browse the list with the Page key until the desired pattern is shown. Select the desired pattern by pressing the Pattern Icon key. Press the OK key. Editing the Embroidery Designs In the Editing mode, you can edit and combine designs to create your own original embroidery. Press the Editing Mode key to open the Editing window. You need to select the appropriate hoop before editing the designs. Press the Hoop Selection key and select the hoop you wish to use. You can open the built-in designs, monograms, and designs from the USB flash drive into the editing window. Select the data source for the design you wish to open. Select the desired pattern in the Pattern Selection window. The editing window appears displaying the pattern you selected. Press the Layout keys to move the design in the editing window or drag the design to the desired position. To change the size of the design, press the Resize key and the Resize window will open. Press the plus or minus key to change the design size. Press the OK key. To make a copy of the design, press the duplicate key. When you need to delete the design, select the design and press the delete key. Press the arrow key on the toolbar to show other editing tools available. Press the Rotate keys to open the Rotate window. Press one of the four keys to rotate the design clockwise or counterclockwise. Press the OK key. Press the Mirror Image keys to open the Flip window. Press the Mirror Image keys to flip the design horizontally or vertically. Press the OK key. Press the OK key twice and the Ready to Sew window appears.
Creating an original design. Select Pattern 11 of the Favorite Designs category and reduce the size to 80%. Press the Pattern Selection key and press the Monogram key. Enter F L O W E R. Press the OK key. Press the arrow key on the toolbar and press the ARC key. The ARC layout window opens. Press the upper ARC key twice and press the enlarge key five times. Press the OK key and move the lettering under the design. Press the arrow key on the toolbar and press the color key and select the desired color for the lettering. Press the OK key. Press the OK key twice and the Ready to Sew window appears. Removing the Embroidery Unit To return to the ordinary sewing mode, remove the embroidery unit. Remove the embroidery hoop from the carriage. Press the Mode Switch key. Press the OK key to return the carriage to the storage position. Push down the carriage arm release lever and retract the carriage arm. Turn the power switch off. Press the Embroidery Unit Release button and remove the embroidery unit to the left. Replace the cover. File Management Saving a file you can save original embroidery designs created in embroidery mode or programmed pattern combinations in ordinary sewing mode as files in the built-in memory or USB flash drive. Press the File Save key to open the File Save window. A folder labeled EMBF in the embroidery mode or ORDF in the ordinary sewing mode is displayed on the screen. Press the built-in memory key or USB flash drive key to select the location to save the file. Press the folder icon to open the folder. The file name is assigned automatically starting from number M001. If you wish to change the file name, press the Rename key to open the keyboard window. Enter the new name and press the OK key. Press the OK key to save the design under the new name. Opening a file When you press the Open File key, the Open File window appears. Press the built-in memory key or USB flash drive key to select the location. Press the folder icon to open the folder. Press the desired file icon and the saved design appears on the screen. Customizing the machine settings You can customize the machine settings in the setting mode. Press the Set Mode key to enter the setting mode. There are four setting modes. The Common Setting, Ordinary Sewing Setting, Embroidery setting, and language selection. For example, let's customize the maximum embroidery sewing speed. Press the Embroidery Setting Mode key to open the Embroidery Setting Mode window. Go to page 2 of 6 by pressing the Page key. Press the Plus key to increase the speed or press the Minus key to decrease the speed. To activate your custom setting, press the OK key. Care and Maintenance 
Before carrying out any maintenance or cleaning, be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Replacing the needle. Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bent. Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with a flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. It is recommended to clean the hook area, automatic thread cutter mechanism, and the inside of the thread guide at least once a month. Cleaning the hook area. Remove the needle and presser foot. Remove the extension table. Push down the needle plate release lever and remove the needle plate. Remove the bobbin and the bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush. Apply a few drops of the bobbin holder cleaner to a soft cloth and wipe the bobbin holder both inside and outside. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter mechanism, and hook grace with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook grace with the cloth. Replace the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Insert the left edge of the needle plate into the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Replace the extension table. Attach the needle and presser foot. Cleaning the inside of the thread guide. Remove the thread guide plate by pulling it up. Clean the area around and under the pre-tension leaf with the lint brush. Remove lint and dust from the brush on the underside of the thread guide plate using the lint brush. Set the thread guide plate on the machine, inserting the tenons into the slots. Push the thread guide plate down to snap it in place. Wipe the machine body using a soft cloth soaked in warm water and mild detergent. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.